Hi, Greg Gudson here from Jaspersoft. I'm creating this video to share an admin shortcut for customers using JNDI resources in scenarios with many different deployments of the web app. I'm using Tomcat here as my app server for quick reference. Uh, first, some background info on JNDI resources. As depicted in the admin guide, uh, you can create a data source referencing a JNDI resource. Uh, typically, these resources are manually created uh, within the JRS web app. Uh, they're manually associated. Uh, this is also documented, but for example, in Tomcat, this is done in the context of XML file. Let's take a peek at my uh, content dot, uh, context dot XML file. I have three resources, the two samples, and something everyone will have which is the Jasper server resource. This is how we connect to the repository tables. So uh, as a shortcut, in new deployments of the war, you can edit context.xml manually, or you could use your buildomatic tools to always populate this context.xml with your favorite resource during deployment. Uh, so to do that, let's drive into the buildomatic directory, into the comp source templates web app meta inf and find and edit the context.xml file. What we see here is that the context.xml file creation is entirely driven by this template. Uh, you can copy pre-existing components of the template, like I've done here, and uh, just add in your own values, and this uh, is pretty much all you need to do. Uh, you can hard code values, like I've done commonly, or you can use shortcut variables. For example, greg.jdbc.url was defined in my default underscore master.properties file. So now I can set values uh, conditional to an environment within default underscore master.properties. Uh, you want to save these files, uh, save these values, um, then rebuild your buildomatic using JSN clean config. Clean dash config. Uh, I'll just make sure th anything I've saved is is being set within the files that are prepared for deployment, and then let's do our deployment. And these values are just things commonly used from the install guide. Uh, deployment should take a second. And then we can go look at the context.xml file to see if it's there. Let's go check. So again, meta in context.xml is where we'll find our file. And it looks like it just got updated. Let's look. And here we go. Uh, this is the custom uh, JNDI resource that I want to have set in all my deployments uh, during deployment instead of having to come back through manually and uh, edit that file. Thanks for watching.